Was this day of surfing Huntington Beach epic? I'm Brad Jacobson and I run around chasing waves, the people who ride them, and tell stories about these adventures. I chased this combo land swell dark and early to Huntington Beach. Even in the dark, I could tell that this was going to be a special morning. This was the first wave of the morning that I filmed. I'm not sure if this has ever happened to you, but as I was watching these incredible waves roll in, I kept saying to myself, this is an epic day of surfing. <laughs> Surfers would even stop by to me and tell me that this is one of the best days they've ever seen here. The entire drive home, I kept thinking about how many good rides I filmed and how I couldn't wait to get back and watch the clips from this epic morning in Huntington. Then I started watching the clips. And yeah, there were some amazing rides, but there were also a lot of unmade barrels and closeouts, way more than I remember. Was I hoping so badly to score an epic day that I had blinders on? 
Do we as filmers and surfers only want to think about the top waves and brush the others aside? Or maybe the word epic is just being way overused, like the term GOAT. Seems like every day someone new is being labeled the greatest of all time. Don't get me wrong. This day was way better than normal and everybody who paddled out came back in with a huge smile. But was it epic?
for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I'll see you on the sand.